is different. But nothing will ever cancel Fat Tuesday. I am also costuming at home. Today, as families all across Southeast Louisiana bring new ways to celebrate. And I am here in spirit this year. WDSU brings you Carnival Central, Spirit of Mardi Gras. Oh, you know, it is a sight that we thought we would never see this time of year. Bars on Bourbon Street shut down on this Fat Tuesday. So no crowds, no music in the streets, no dancing, no parades. But you probably wouldn't want to be out there anyway because it is freezing outside right now. So many of our neighbors are finding really creative ways to celebrate safely during this global pandemic. Happy Mardi Gras to you. I am Randy Russo. And I'm Christina Watkins. We hope you are staying home, staying safe. And that's why over the next two hours, we are just so excited to bring Mardi Gras to you. We all know normally we would be in the Think of Fat Tuesday, King and Queen Zulu toasting the mayor at Gallier Hall, hands in the air trying to catch all of those throws from Rex, and then of course dancing, two-stepping in the streets. But you know what, parades? They're canceled, but Mardi Gras is not. You can never cancel it, and we here at WDSU, we are keeping the Fat Tuesday spirit alive with our teams across Southeast Louisiana on this very cold Mardi Gras which leaves us in a hard freeze warning and a wind chill advisory. So for more on that, let's kick things off with meteorologist Quaylen Murphy with the latest on those conditions. Quaylen. It's the sounds that bring that brightness to the day, but it's certainly cold out there and cloudy for us, and this makes us feel uh, definitely very cold with the dangerous conditions out there. Temperatures haven't budged too much since early this morning. I've seen a degree to two degree jump at the airport from 25 degrees now to 27 degrees. That's hardly uh, what we like to see in terms of temperatures increasing. 25 in Slidell, 27 in Homer. We're still clearly below freezing. Wind chill value still teens and 20s. And those freezing temperatures still on board with us until lunchtime today. The freeze warning set to expire at noon. Although these purple shades will go away, we're still going to be holding on to some freezing temperatures, even I think at lunchtime at one o'clock for some locations area wide. Lots of cloud cover out there, even some cloud cover resulting in some flurries on the back edge of that system that's departing. Some light flurries for many areas on the North Shore, even some reports around the South Shore too. Thankfully, no accumulation, but the problem with the cloud cover and the lack of sunshine and temperatures still below freezing is that we still have those icy patches that are hanging out there too, so that could cause some challenges for some of those sidewalks and localized neighborhoods. Check out the 12-hour forecast showing some sunshine. I think we're still going to be left with some cloud cover, but still also at 32 degrees, so that's still the freeze mark at the airport wind chill still mid 20s upper 30s this afternoon right around upper 30s to near 40 degrees at four o'clock with clearing skies into evening notice by 10 o'clock we're still at 37 degrees now i think some areas on the north shore will drop into the upper 20s and low 30s overnight but i'm not concerned about a hard freeze on the south shore by midnight still around 37 degrees high pressure will help to bring in some of that sunshine later on today but we're still going to be tracking what's coming in from the west you can see that cold frontal boundary near Texas. That's our next storm system. That's going to bring us a threat for severe weather. But today the focus continues to be the cold air and being safe out there. I hope more details on that extended forecast in just a bit. Back to you. And Quayle, you know, it is the freezing cold Mardi Gras that many of us really don't want to feel. So you don't really want to be in the French Quarter partying, partying today, regardless of those COVID-19 restrictions. Yeah, let's go to WDSU anchor Travers Mackle live on Bourbon, checking out things for us. Not that there's really much to see at this hour, Travers, but that's kind of the point of these restrictions, right? No, there's there's absolutely nothing to see. Hopefully, Christina and Randy, this is something that we never see again. We haven't seen this before. This is Bourbon Street. The 600 block, the belly of the beast right now, it would be thousands upon thousands of people drinking, eating, partying, dancing, celebrating everything that Mardi Gras is. And instead, due to COVID-19, it's closed all the way down from the 900 block all the way to Canal Street. Cop cars in every corner, barricades up, all the bars shut down. These restrictions put in place to keep people safe amid this pandemic. And it's not just bourbon. Take a look. This is Toulouse, one of the side streets. All the bars closed. Very few businesses are actually even open up right now just because of the fact that the mayor wants to keep people safe. They don't want people coming down here. The good news is a lot of people, unless they're going to their jobs, are not coming down here. And let's keep going. We're going to show you this is the 500 block of Bourbon Street. 
heading down to Canal Street. You would normally have a packed Canal Street right now. That's not the case. And it's really the first time that we've ever seen anything like this. Back in 1979, the last time that Mardi Gras was canceled due to the police strike, Bourbon Street was packed. Remember, there were no parades, but restaurants and bars were opened up. So therefore, Bourbon had a pretty nice crowd. And I gotta tell you, it's COVID coupled with the cold weather. People party in cold weather here back in 2010 and 2015. It was around 40 degrees. It was chilly and there were tens of thousands of people on Bourbon Street. So it's really the double whammy. It's the COVID restrictions and then it's the cold weather that are keeping people indoors. You see some people up here on the balcony staying at the hotel. They're coming out just to take a look at something that we have never really seen before. Also, I should point out before we go, we all know that the Claiborne Avenue underpass, a lot of partying goes on under there on Mardi Gras day. It is packed. That's barricaded off. I drove past it on the way here. Nobody is out there. Heavy police presence. It's exactly what the city wanted to see. They didn't want people coming out, spreading the COVID-19 virus and partying. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening. Let's hope that as we get through the pandemic, this is not the scene in 2022 and we are back to normal. Right about now, we would be seeing a lot of these walking crews like Pete Fountain's half fast marching crew. Some of the other ones like the Buzzards and Zulu would be getting there to Gallier Hall probably right around now. So from a very empty Bourbon Street, I'm Travers Mackle, Randy, Christina, let's send it back to you. All right, Travers, thank you for that. Now to the North Shore, where we're seeing some of our coldest temperatures of the day, and it has certainly been a snow day for our very own Heath Allen. Yeah, he's been out there enjoying a couple of snow flurries on this Fat Tuesday out in Washington Parish. Let's check in again with Heath live there. Heath, uh, any more snow flurries? I can kind of see a little bit dropping across the screen. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what I was going to do. I was going to make a snowball, but at this rate, it would take until next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> to get enough snow to make one. Story up right here on the North Shore is uh, is power outages. We've been talking about them all morning long. Washington St. Tammany uh, Electric Co-op uh, had thousands of, uh, of outages to begin with, but this morning, as you can see, there was an armada of uh, utility trucks. It pulled out, heading out to various portions of Tangipahoe Parish, St. Tammany Parish, and of course, Washington Parish to go ahead and work on those outages. The good news is this, they're making a whole bunch of progress. Bottom line is right now in St. Tammany, only 12 outages uh, that are the purview of Washington St. Tammany. In Tangipahoe Parish, it's down to 719, and in Washington Parish, down to 953. And so the numbers are going down, even amidst this uh, flurry of snow, if you will. Uh, those crews are out. You gotta gotta pat those guys on the back. It is cold and tough to work, but they're out there up on the poles and they're making sure your power goes back on. We'll keep you posted on those numbers as well as everything else that's going on on the North Shore, weather-wise. Back to you. All right, Heath Allen live in Washington Parish this morning. Keith, thank you. And, you know, for some of you, this may feel like the first time parades have been canceled because you may not have been around the few times it happened before. Yeah, you just heard Travers mention the police strike. That was one of them. Uh, WDSU's Gina Swanson gives us a historic look back this morning. Mardi Gras. It's more than parades rolling and catching throws. It's part of who we are in New Orleans, the celebration that defines us as a city. And canceling Mardi Gras is almost unheard of, but sometimes the circumstances are beyond our control. Parades are not possible under the current guidelines. On November 17th, 2020, the city of New Orleans announced that due to COVID-19, parades would not roll in 2021. But this isn't the first time. Since the first parade rolled in 1857, wars, pandemics, mob violence, and political unrest have all led to Mardi Gras being canceled a total of 14 times. The first time was in 1862 due to the general anxiety of the time as the Civil War marched toward our doorstep and wouldn't happen again until 1866. In 1875, political unrest led to clashes between civilians, police, and state militia. In 1879, crews canceled all parades due to the yellow fever epidemic. Parades were canceled again in 1918 due to World War I, followed by the Spanish flu in 1919. World War II from 1942 to 1945, the Korean War in 1951, and finally, the police union strike of 1979.
It is easy to see why there was a need to cancel the celebrations, but in true New Orleans fashion, the party didn't stop. Whether at an official ball to support the troops or simply taking to the streets, we always found our own way to celebrate. Mardi Gras isn't about strict adherence to social events. It can never be canceled, but merely take on a new form. The celebrations may look different in 2021, but as history has shown, the spirit of Mardi Gras will always rise and come back bigger and better next year. You kind of hear it in the background there of Gina's story. More than anything, we are really missing the sounds of Mardi Gras. We're talking the marching bands, the DJs, all the second lines. So we are bringing the dance party to your home with performances from the historic music club Tipitinas. Hey y'all, it's Mardi Gras time. It's Fat Tuesday. We're out here at Tipitinas having a good time. I know some of y'all might be outside either balling crawfish or grilling or doing something. So we're going to bring the Mardi Gras. I tell you, let's have a good time like we say on the bayou. Yeah, peace. I say boom. Say what? Come on. Somebody scream. You know everybody doing it around here on the floor. It's Mardi Gras time right here in Louisiana, y'all. We don't have no parade, but we still gonna have ourselves a ball. Can you get it up? Can you bring it on in? Anytime you got a Louisiana, know you gotta win. You know take it chill. Way up the hill, wow, wow, wow. When Jill came down, she had herself a side of pill. Tell me what you want to win.
Shout out to Rock and Dupsy getting us dancing here in the newsroom. We hope it got you dancing at home as well. You know, throughout our Spirit of Mardi Gras broadcast, we're going to show you some of the best music from different bands all across our area. The men and the women who provide the soundtrack to us, and many of them are out of work right now because of city and state COVID-19 restrictions. Just speaking with a lot of the musicians, I mean, it's very difficult for them to pay their bills. Uh, and a baby, even be able to eat for, for some artists. So uh, community support is, I mean, we're all in this together, uh, but the artists really need, need the help at this time. So here's what you can do if you want to help musicians in our area. Really easy. Log on to the WDSU mobile app or WDSU.com. That's where you can find a link to make donations. They really need it. So please help if you can. At 1015, she is the real queen of Mardi Gras. Oh, yes. Talking about Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr. You see her there sharing some of her favorite memories of Carnival's past and her hope for the future. We'll be right back.